Hello guys and welcome back to Repair and Resale. In today's video we're going to take a look at these two Joy-Con. In fact, I've been looking uh, to be uh, fixing some in a while, but I never found some to buy. So I will start by making some video on how to test them and maybe how to open them. But in this video we're going to see how we can test the Joy-Con pair with a switch or without a switch. But for the moment, we're going to start with the most easy option is if you have a switch with you, you can easily test them. So I'm just going to put them in just like that. I'm going to turn on the switch and I'm going to show you how we can do this. So here we go. We're going to open this up. I'm going to get you a closer view so you can have a better look at everything. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to do in the um, device setting best system setting right here sorry and then we're gonna go in the uh, we're gonna go down and we're gonna go in the controllers and sensor then we're gonna select that one and here we have all the options we can change the grip order of the controller we can change a button mapping here is uh, we can uh, test the vibration. Here is an example. If you turn it off, you will feel nothing. But if you turn it on, you should feel the controller vibrate. So it's a way to test them. So if we continue to go down, we're going to go down. You can update your controller if there is a problem with them. But here is where you can test the control stick, which is really important if there is drifts or something like that that you suspect. So all you have to do to test the, the, the stick is basically you push on it. Then you will get to this part. And after that, you can test it. I rotate it just like that. I'm trying to see if it's center well, just like this. And if there is no problem with it, I would also try while I press the joystick in sometime there can be problem with this. So as you can see, this one is going pretty well. I don't see any problem on this one. So we're going to go for the next one. So here we go. We press it in. Then we can test this one right here. So just like that. And here we go. So as you can see, these are going pretty well. I have no problem at all with it. Just like that. And I try it while being pressed in just like this. So now that it's test, we can go back and I will show you how you can test the button of your Joy-Con with the switch. Uh, also, you can uh, calibrate motion control of the, um, the Joy-Con or of the switch. Basically, is when you have to move them. So now we're going to test the input device, which could be pretty useful. We're going to test controller's button right here. And then you can try to press all your buttons all over and it will appear on the screen which is pretty useful even those presses in and if you test this button right here to take a picture it will just take a picture and if you uh, press the home button it will just go back to the home menu so here we go this is how you can test the joycon on the switch now i will show you how you can test them without the switch so i'm going to close this off and i'm going to get rid of the switch in order to test your joycon without the switch you will need another device that can that you can plug them wirelessly to it because i don't know any adapter that will go that will take the joycon to usb which you could plug the usb then in a pc for example so you will need a device with bluetooth uh, i think uh PC usual a lot of pc have some bluetooth with them and other one um have also there's also mac that have the, that feature so for now i'm gonna switch the camera so you can see my screen Once you can deal with your Bluetooth device, make sure to turn it on, which I will do. Then you can take your Joy-Con and there is a small button right here. You just press on it. It will start flashing like this and it should uh, find your Joy-Con. So as I can see, this one seemed already to be detected by the system. So I'm going to pair it with it. 
it should not take long and we will be able once the joycom is paired with the computer we should be able to test it okay i don't know why but the left joycon didn't want to sync with the computer so i'm gonna do it with the right one instead of the left one oh and there it is the left joycon dress should be able to be uh, used with the computer now it's been done it just appeared back on the screen so i'm gonna still wait a little bit for the right joycon to sync because I want to show you that you can test them individually and that you can test them together on the computer. Okay, so once this is done and that your Joy-Con is paired on the right one, it will appear with a blue ring when it's paired via Bluetooth to your computer. Then you go on the Gamepad Tester website. I will leave a link on the description below. It's totally free. And when you press a button, the Joy-Con will appear on the screen. I will just close this annoying ad and then uh, you can test all the buttons so for example uh, you can press the side button it should appear somewhere you see under b4 there is a little one same thing on this side and you can test basically every button around and even this button right here and you will be able to know if your Joy-Con is working or not. The only thing that is a bit sad is that the Joy-Con might not be calibrated the same way that it is on the Switch. So as you can see, this uh, joystick was working perfectly while being on the Switch. And now it seems faulty on the Game Pass tester while it is not, in fact, because it's calibrated the right way on the Switch, and obviously it would need to be calibrated on the computer if you want it to be working properly. So, here we go, the, and even it doesn't center properly, but because of a dead zone, uh, it doesn't matter anyway, and you don't notice it on when you're playing on the Switch, so this is a perfectly working one maybe you would need to take a look at the joycon a bit more uh, maybe there is some dust in it this is why it's not centering perfectly but otherwise we have uh, i think a pretty good joycon that is working and if you want to test it as a pair i think uh, this one yeah this one is now paired to the controller so you can also use them as a pair so now you can test both joycon at the same time this one you see is a better calibration for the joystick it's still not perfect because you cannot hit the one for example at the top or the bottom or oh we get it on the right but you see it's the calibration is not the same on the computer than on the switch and you can also test them as a pair when you have both of them plugged in so which is uh, pretty nice so you can save a bit of time you pair two of your joycon to the computer and then you can test them together all the button overall which is pretty nice and you can also uh, test uh, the vibration just by clicking on vibration and your joycon should vibrate so it's also nice that you can do this on the computer but i think it only works with the 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 chrome browser so I hope that you enjoyed this video and have a nice day.